Yeah, so if you've always been a fan of Jackery, you know, maybe you started out with a small power station like the Jackery 240. <laughs> and then, hey, you know, one day you saved up enough money and you bought something like the Jackery 1000. <laughs> and you thought, wow, I can really do a lot with this thing. And now you're ready to kind of move into the big leagues now. You say so you want to be able to power everything in your house, <laughs> like literally everything in your house. Yeah, you can do it with this new Jackery 5000 Plus. How about 7,200 watts continuous? And this is just from one unit, one unit. And by the way, that's 120 volts or 240 volts. doesn't matter. Whatever, you know, whatever you need, this thing is going to power it. And this single unit has five kilowatt hours built into it. So yes, it's LFP battery. You know, of course, you're probably going to want more than that. You know, you're going to need more than that, really especially if you're outputting over 7,000 watts. So yeah, you can expand the system, of course. You can expand it. Here's, here's what you can do. You can do up to five extra batteries connected to each of the main units here. And that'll give you 30 kilowatt hours, right? So basically six five kilowatt hour batteries. And as you can see, yes, they do have 90 degree cables here. So you're not gonna have to, you know, set aside a whole bunch of extra wasted space just just for cables you know you can really kind of pack this in tight and then if you want to hey if you really want to get crazy with this 60 kilowatt hours what you're going to need to do is buy two of the main units here two jackery 5000 plus models you can hook up five extra batteries to each one right so now you got a total of 12 10 extra batteries two main units and they all have a five kilowatt hour battery, that's gonna give you 60 kilowatt hours. Now, to hook up you know, two of these units together, you're gonna to need to get the smart home transfer switch. And this is actually, you're probably gonna to wanna to get this anyways, because you're talking about home backup with this system, right? And this thing is awesome because with the app, as you can see, you can really not only just customize a lot of stuff, you can schedule things, but guess what? You can even turn on individual circuits in your house right from the app so and then the other benefit of getting this is if you do get two of the main units if you get two 5000 plus models and hook it up with the smart transfer switch you double the output so <laughs> hey you know if 7200 watts wasn't enough for you how about over 14000 watts <laughs> and if you're worried about having this smart home panel transfer switch installed yeah, if you buy it, basically Jackie will help set you up with an electrician that can install this for you. Now, of course, if you're outputting big power and you've got a ton of batteries, you're going to need to charge those things up as well, aren't you? <laughs> and you're not going to be able to charge up 60 kilowatt hours with a couple, you know, little tiny solar panels in your backyard. You're going to need to get serious. And this thing's got serious specs. So let's kind of go through the five different ways you can charge this thing. Yes. You know, just straight AC, just with the normal cord. Yeah, you can do 1800 watts, kind of max out your typical circuit. Then, you know, if you do get that smart transfer, the smart home panel transfer switch, you can actually charge pull directly from that as well, up to 4,000 watts. In this figure, 4,000 watts, this is the, the absolute maximum that you can do, no matter which source. You know, you can't ever exceed 4,000 watts, but still, that's, I mean, that's, yeah, that's plenty, that's plenty coming in. Now for solar, guess what? There's actually two different solar inputs and there is a switch. So to me, it kind of makes it seem like you got to choose one or the other, but still, these are, these are very impressive specs. So it's got the normal Jackery inputs. This is the low PV input. So this is the two, there's two of them and they're the 80-20, the eight millimeter with a thick pin. And it's got the same specs as all the other Jackery Pro and Plus models, right? I mean, it's up to 60 volts each, and it's up to like 11 amps each. And you can max it out at 1,200 watts. So that's good. That's good. But the, the, thing, the thing you're really going to be impressed with is the high-voltage solar, high-voltage PV. Yeah, 4,000 watts. <laughs> 4,000 watts, and guess what? If you're thinking, well, surely Jackery screwed this up because, you know, it's Jackery. No, guess what? This has got a proper voltage range. Actually, I'm going to write it over here so you can see it. How about 135 to 
450 volts. Yeah, you might like that. You might be able to actually hook up, you know, the solar panels that you got installed on your roof to this thing. The one thing you need to note, though, is it is up to 15 amps only. 15 amps. So, yeah, you're going to, you probably have all these panels hooked up in series, but still, that, that could limit it. You're going to need it to be very high voltage if you want to be able to max out that 4,000 watts. And just to jump back to this picture here real quick, this is the new Solar Saga 500X. This is their new 500 watt panel. It's an optional bundle accessory with the 5000 plus. And one thing you might want to note is you don't want to actually try to lay these panels out like this in this zigzag configuration. Usually the reason they show it like this is just to kind of say, to kind of state, you know, that these don't have kickstands. So you're going to want to lay these out completely flat on the ground, you know, in a do-it-yourself flat placement with adjustable angles. If you want to try to get the most power, maybe there's a part of your yard, part of the grass that kind of slopes slightly south. Use that. Try to use, you know, the slope of the ground to your advantage. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to get maximum power with laid out flat on the ground, but it's just, it's going to be the easiest setup. You know, that's kind of the whole thing. This is going to be a big, big, heavy panel. Now, another thing that you might want this thing to do is provide you with a UPS function, right? So this thing actually has two different UPS modes. The standard mode is a 20 millisecond, but you can activate this zero millisecond mode in the app. So you actually have to switch this on. So it's a 20 millisecond offline UPS and then a zero millisecond online UPS. Now online, what does it mean? Yeah, it means the inverter is on. So this is not ideal. You know, you don't really want to have the inverter running 24 seven especially, you know, if you got grid power available, you don't really want to have, you don't, you don't really want to be using it just from a longevity standpoint. It's also, you know, technically wasteful, you know, you're powering the inverter all the time. So, you know, it kind of just depends. Yeah, I don't know, maybe if there's a storm coming and it's just, you have an increased odds of the power going out, you could activate this zero millisecond thing. Maybe, or maybe if you're just working on something super important on your computer, you could activate it. You know, otherwise you probably just want to go with the standard mode. And then to just wrap this video up, let's talk about the ports that this thing has. Yeah, the front end is basically like all the other Jack models. It's exactly the same, in fact, the same four USB ports. Two of them are 100 watt USB-C, the 12 volt, and then several AC outlets, you know, the standard wall outlet, 15, 20 amp outlets. On the side is where it gets real interesting. There's two different 30 amp outlets that you can choose from. And this is, these are the ones that can do big power, right? 240 volts. And on the other side, we get the inputs. So as I mentioned, there's the low PV, high PV, you know, and that switch. So, and then of course this design, yeah, it's, it's kind of got the suitcase style, right? <laughs> but this is a big suitcase. This is a big, it's huge. So, yeah, it's got the wheels and the handle kind of telescopes down into the unit. And you might say, well, how big is this thing? <laughs> how big is it? Well, how about 61? 61 kilos? <laughs> That's not pounds, kilos. So if you do the math, it's, a, <laughs> it's 134 pounds. This thing's a beast. This thing's a beast. And they say it's effortless to transport. Well, hey, I guess as long as you don't have to lift it.